So our Bruhemus just arrived in the mail today. We got two of them, and we're just gonna unbox them, check them out. We haven't seen them yet, uh, so we're pretty excited to see what's inside. What did it take, about three weeks, I think, for them to arrive? Including so, the holiday. And uh, they were custom modified for us, custom built, so. Yeah, those guys were awesome when we were sending them our specs and what we needed. They were like, yeah, we can do that. Who are these guys? They're the Bruhemoth. They're uh, out of St. Louis. And they're, they actually work for a, I got the legs in here. They, uh, they work for a company that manufactures oxygen tanks. And they're home brewers. And they said, wait a second, these things look like fermenters. So they asked their bosses if they could uh, start selling them. That's fermenters. Yeah. And as any good smart boss would say, yeah, of course. Yeah. assembling this roughly right now to get an idea of how well it fits in uh, our test freezers. These are uh, standing freezers behind us and uh, they're going to allow us to temperature control each one of these uh, brujinas individually. So we could do an uh, ale in one or a lager in the other or uh, two different ales at two different times and temperatures. And we're going to hook that up to an intelligent controller that's going to let us uh, ramp up uh, the temperature or ramp down the temperature as we need to, depending on the style of beer that we're making. So we set up the fermenter here with some of the butterfly valves. At the bottom, you can see there's a large inch and a half inch dump valve. We have the racking valve, which is a one inch valve. Uh, we've had Bruhemoth add on this extra port for us for our temperature sensor. And up at the top, We've got the lid and uh, that's sealed on here and then we've got the blow off tube. So uh, this is going to go down into a bucket at the bottom. 